I work for Flinch Countryside Service. My role at Talacra is to be a partnership ranger to the main businesses and the main partners. So I work alongside E&I, Bourne Leisure, NRW, assisting with the habitat management, the events education. I would say Talacra and Point of Air are so special because of the diversity. There's just something for every, everybody. You've got the habitats which are rare, the only sand dunes in Flintshire, the only beach in Flintshire. You've got the protected and important species, whether that's amphibians, birds, plants, but also it's not just about the wildlife. You've got the recreation as well. You've got the cycle path going through. We've got walks, short and long, kind of different abilities. And then you've got the beach itself, which you go out there when the tide's out and you see the families having fun, the dogs being walked, the horses galloping. There's something for everybody to do and people just really enjoy being here. I'd say Talaka is so popular with visitors, again because of how diverse it is. So you've got the, the beach and the dunes, but also you've got the town to go with it. So you've got the arcades for the kids, you've got the chippy, you've got the, the shop where you can buy your buckets and spades, you've got a pub if you want to have a drink, you've got caravan parks so you can make it into a holiday. I think it's just all round a, a wonderful place. From a conservation point of view, the main pressures that visitors bring is erosion as they walk, kind of walking up and down the dunes. People are just attracted to bare sand, people love to run up and down it, but sometimes this causes erosion which we then have to carry out extra works to fix. Also when people bring the dogs, the irresponsible ones add the pressure of leaving a mess. When the visitors are on the beach, sometimes they won't take rubbish home with them. If every visitor was responsible, the pressures would be a lot less. To combat the pressures, we do a lot of works um, and we try to keep the works positive. So we engage with local college groups, for, for instance. We've got a really good ongoing relationship with College Cambria and the engineering students. So we work alongside them. We recycle Christmas trees and build kind of fences to divert people away from areas of the dunes that are experiencing the pressure. You'll find people in an area where they shouldn't be, which is fenced off, so you just go and talk to them, explain what it is that we're trying to do and how they can help. We've got interpretation panels to talk about the endangered species, so you can use these things to direct people to information. You don't have to speak to everybody. We've got two leaflets for Talacra now, which talk about some of the history, talk about some of the special habitat species and direct people to the things that they can do that they might not be aware of. We try to do a whole host of events and try to mix up the themes so some of the events will be conservation based, maybe pull clematis off the dunes, pull ragwort out of the, the pony fields. So these tasks are tasks that are so labour intensive that we haven't got the manpower to do it so volunteers play a huge role in that but also we do educational events, so we'll do flora walks to explain about the orchids and the, the different kind of rare species that could be there. We'll do natterjack walks, which will tell people what natterjack toads are. A lot of people don't know they're the rarest amphibian in the UK. We also try to do fun events, so recently we had a family beach day where we had people building sandcastles, building moats to defend against the oncoming tide. We had marshmallows being hosted in exchange for picking up some litter and bringing that back to get that out of the marine environment. So it's try to mix it up to make it something for everybody.